Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hats are all over it. The captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Hey, fuck you, asshole. Gary says he'll sing. Only if I guarantee he walks. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of the car? That's the cop's daughter. the car. Police. Be careful with it, copper. Will you look at this? Can clock? you drive to this one? You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't murder. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry and of Elizabeth Short, for so that You don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin Prime for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. Don't seem to be standing around looking for Shouldn't you Detective, be working? I was first on scene. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. The family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. And you show me the body. It's under the pepper tree, this way. So, hey, what's going on over there?
Can't be much help to you, Phelps. The stopping angle of the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Robbery, why not take the money? Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Officer Gonzalez, badge 994. How did you get here? Did someone leave your cage open? Victim of white female Jane Doe on Hill Street. Possible ID of Deidre Muller. Can you run through the name and details? Senior Muller, currently reside 130 North Bobby Reported by who? Olive oil comes from. Where's baby oil come from? You're a modest little person. Much to be modest about. Thanks very much for your help. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. The size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Anything interesting? Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you.
almost like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Detectives, R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. And I tell you, just grab the husband, take him downtown and work him over. You can have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? You can drive. All these cars got something to get sand around. There still might be some playing the boyfriend. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. They're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. You're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't dare. This conversation is over. and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Why don't you tell the truth, Michelle? Something really bugs you about your mother's jewelry. You really are horrible, you know that? What makes you think that? Mother spent all her time fussing over herself. There wasn't much time left for me and Daddy. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. You're feeling guilty about this, Michelle. What were you up to that you missed your mother? You're crazy. I was waiting out front exactly where she asked me to be. Ask my teacher if it isn't so. rotten. I feel terrible already about my mom, and you're trying to make me feel worse. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Your mom and dad never got angry with each other? They were happy? Well, not like the movies. Not like you read about in books. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. 
I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. Hey! What the Daddy, the police are room, here. Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, Mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes, that's right. Where's the school? Belmont High on West 2nd Street. There's a parking lot next door where the parents wait for the kids. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. And you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I, I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why, you telling me something different? You better think about leaving, or you're going to have some trouble on your hands. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. You always wear size nines? Sometimes tens. Uh, depends on the brand. Foreign shoes have different sizes. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair, or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? You're calling me a liar on the day I lose my wife. <laughs> your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I'm not a killer. No matter what you think. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Walking Wisconsin, this is American Century Broadcasting. We're making a right at the next intersection. Hey, come on! Back, back. 
Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No. Not at all. I did see Mr. Mahler put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. OK, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Hugo, hands where we can see them. Check in the incinerator, Phelps. I'll hold our stupid friend. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I don't... What's home and... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. I think his name is Phelps. I read about him in the newspaper. Galloway, homicide division, attached with the 564. We can raise the anchor and the death of the service is being to a high level of north along the brain street. Set someone down to the house and move down to a young lady. Down in the water, something stirred. The wind is shouting, who's there? This is what he heard. There ain't nobody here but us chicken. There ain't nobody here but us chicken. So calm yourself and stop that fuss. There ain't nobody here but us chickens trying to sleep and you Shit. butt in and hobble 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 with your chin they ain't nobody here but the chickens they ain't nobody here at all you're stopping ah. chickens we chickens trying to sleep and you butt in yeah. and hobble 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 ah, again. tomorrow is a busy day It's the first season since fabric rationing's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am?
Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, see the janitor. A green nineteen forty six coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and Blaine Fields. Eleven K code two. KBI reminds me. What's your name? Who's asking? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you Loki motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. You're under arrest, Eli. We're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night. After school social, maybe 1 a.m. We've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know.
you you got to be kidding. I need to go over the case. We're though. driving this. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Are you guys from Homicide? Right here. This is the car? Yes, sir, Detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Could be important. Badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. You gotta be kidding. We're driving this? Does it stop? You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? You've got to be kidding. We're driving this? I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car. He had her jewelry. The DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. Better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Are you going to tell me what I want to know? Or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? You're at your best shot. I can take whatever you throw. 
you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Your wife was strangled with a braided rope, which we found in the trunk of her car. I think you bought that rope specifically to strangle her. You can think whatever you want. But that rope has nothing to do with me. My wife is the victim here. But uh, so am I. What am I going to do without her? And you. <laughs> you heartless bastard. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Either you start backing up what you're saying or I'm going to walk out that door. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're lying, Hugo. You're going to have to come clean on this. You got no proof. I want an attorney. I'm not answering any more questions unless I... I get an attorney. You must accept that I'm innocent! I've been in this job 20 years. Boys, really come through this time. Captain. We were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family a roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. You better not be lying to me, Eli. If I send an officer down there to find out and it turns out you wasted his time... Hell, I ain't lying. That ain't worth lying over. <laughs> You looking for some wisdom in that book of yours? You ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you! See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Mrs. Muller was strangled with a triple braid. Give me something, Eli. I like braid, but I didn't rope that woman. You're not hanging this one on me, partner. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You're a liar, Eli. 
You needed the money, so you killed her. I've been around some, son. You got some evidence that proves I stole that butterfly from that woman? I done told you I found that pretty thing. I never stole it. I don't like you, Eli. I think you're an evil man. I think you try to pass off your pain to other people. I can't make you for this case. But my consolation is that I don't think you will be out of prison for very long. You can count on it, shitbird. By the way, Eli, the captain and the hat squad would like to talk to you next. Any idea what they might want to talk about? That's the guy. Detective, that's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, he's getting away! That's not true. I can't. I can't go to jail. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! That's the guy. Detective, that's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, he's getting away. That's not true. I can't. I can't go to jail. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. You gotta get me closer! That's the guy. Detective, that's him. That's the guy who parked the car. I'm sure of it. Hey, he's getting away! That's not true. I can't. I can't go to jail. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Steady and I'll try to bust his tires! Hit 
did it! Clean this asshole off the road! Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! Here, you go. Once we get the janitor's statement, you'll be staring down a murder charge. What do you think? We wrap those interviews at Central, and we can. I have to say I'm disappointed. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. You two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. Next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! <laughs>